Hey, I'm Sai, and I'm here to give you a little tutorial for the basic UI interface because, I don't know, when I first got into this game, I had no idea what I was looking at really. It took me about an hour and a half to figure the basic things down. So I'm just going to save you that time, condense it down to a few minutes. So first, really quick. Let's get into it. Open up your inventory. I think by default it's set to F. I changed mine to I. Or you can click the open inventory button on the bottom right wheel. In here you'll find all the normal gear equips except for a weapon. Weapons go down here to the left of the compass. You just right click the weapon or you can drag it over to the slot. Either way, whatever works for you. As you level up you'll get more weapon slots so that you can keep different loadouts of weapons that you can switch between instead of having to go and re-equip them all the time. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So, <laughs> I'm not going to be covering those, because I've never seen them before. To the right of the compass is the combat arts. And to open the combat arts window, you would press E, or this button over here. And then you've got your skill trees. And to learn skills, you don't learn them by leveling up and picking them. You go around and you find these runes, and you just right click on the rune, and then you'll learn the skill. Just like that. To equip the skill you want to use, you would just click and drag it down to the combat arts slot right down there. Same thing with the weapons, as you level up you'll get a couple more of these, so you can change between them easily. And the combos are pretty interesting. You pick a combo and then you can customize it. You can put two different skills into the combo however you want and then as you're fighting when you're fighting you can right click the enemy to use the skill on them and then it'll use whatever skills you have stocked up in the combo uh, buffs go here buffs are different you don't put them in the actual art they go in these slots over here you just put them in there and you left click it and then they'll happen for this one, she summons a fire demon. That's those two. Um, this over here is the divine gift, obviously. You get that when you pick your deity. And around it are spots for these relic gems. I don't know too much about them. For the ones that I found playing, they gave me an armor bonus and a bonus to a skill. You can press C to go to your character sheet. Uh, skills, right now they're all empty, because I haven't leveled at all, but when you level up you get to pick a skill. Hmm. They all say at level 75, but yeah, I'm not sure. Anyways, whenever you level up, for me when I was playing, only the skills on the left side were available to me. But you would pick one, and then it would show up here, and then you could put points into them as you level up. Uh, same with the attributes. I've been getting one point per level. I don't know if that ever changes. But everything else seems to level up with you as you level up. Like your attributes. They all get a bonus as you level up too, along with the one point that you can choose. Uh, so... Q picks up everything around you. You can also click the collect everything within range. Everything within this green radius thing will be picked up, and if you go into your gameplay options, you can fine-tune that to pick up certain quality items only. Uh, camera... Camera just... Well, I don't think... Yeah, that didn't save. Uh, let me just... There. Follow camera. I think that's on by default. All it does is make it so that the camera rotates with your character, whichever way they're going. I found that to be pretty annoying, so I just turned it off. Um, you can press A and D to rotate the camera yourself. And you can press Z to focus the compass on north. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna use this gift so that I can demonstrate this combo thing. That was my phone. Just ignore that. And, yeah, this thing you get from picking an evil, not really evil, but a dark campaign path character, and she's really big, 
but after a little while it turns hostile like that, so I'm just going to right click them and see it use the first glacier spike spell thing and then the fireball. So from the looks of it you can have four total as you unlock the different things and then you could just cast four different skills all at once, which is pretty neat. I'm just gonna go somewhere a little more quiet, uh, or a lot more quiet. I'd rather not get killed. Um, potions, you put them in these slots above the... Jeez, I'm paranoid now. You put them in these slots over here, you just drag them over to where it's green. Green usually means you can put something there. Just a general rule. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the hotkeys. I know R, I think, is hotkey 1. I don't know which one that is, as you get a few more potion slots as you level up. I don't know how many there are total, but I've seen about four, so there's that. And then there's other things that are self-explanatory, mounts, map, and yeah, I think that covers all the basics. The logbook, I, these are the quests, and when you have more of them, you can go into your map, and then you would click the ring to focus it on one, like that. These <coughs> these silver ones, I think, are secondary quests. These orange ones, I think, are the primary quest, the main quest. And then there's blue ones. I'm not sure what those are about, but they're there. And that's all the basic parts of the user interface that took me a while to figure out. And hopefully it can help you have an easier start to Sacred 2. Uh, thanks for watching and have fun.